China's central bank digital currency has been garnering attention worldwide. As blockchain technology threatens to disrupt legacy payment systems and currencies, governments and banks alike have been crafting their responses to the new technology. China's response is perhaps the most fully formed on the world stage. Trials have already begun through the digital RMB app as well as through Alipay. Let's go on the ground in Shanghai and speak with my colleague Xiaobing and see how she's been using her digital RMB trial to make purchases. Hi guys, this is Xiaobing from Creatures and welcome to Shanghai. So now I'm heading to the Bank of China to apply for a digital RMB trial. It has been hot in China since people are curious about um, how we can use it and its applying scenarios. I know there's two ways you can take part in the trial. The first is you are selected as an eligible user. The second is you go to the bank in person and uh, apply for yourself. I will be a very early adopter at this point since everything is still in the testing phase. Exciting, right? So let's go and see what will happen. The application process is quite simple. Scan a code to download the digital RMB app since it is not yet available on the App Store. And in three to five business days, you receive your digital RMB wallet. While the fully fledged digital RMB will not require the linking of the bank card, it is currently in the testing phase. So I need to add funds through my bank. Now that I have the wallet set up, let's go out and test it for a little offline shopping. We are now on Nanjing Road, which is a busy and vibrant shopping street located in the heart of Shanghai. It is pretty much like Times Square in New York. This area is full of shops and restaurants that accept the digital RMB. There are cigar shops, beverage stores, and I decided to test it by buying some desserts. As you can see, all you need to do is scan the code enter the amount and make a payment. It works just like regular currency does through mobile apps. According to the official news, the digital RMB will eventually allow for payment just by touching two devices together. A user will eventually be able to send and receive funds offline. Apart from offline shopping, I noticed digital RMB wallet will also be able to build in many online apps as well. There is a sub-wallet function that you can connect it to many apps for daily use, including Didi, Meituan, Trip.com, Hema, JD, and even Billabilly. However, since the new payment infrastructure is still in developing, not all scenarios are supported. Most of the restaurants on Meituan near my area have not been built into the system yet. Thanks, Xiaobing. As you can see, Digital RMB is exchanged just how regular money is exchanged all the time through digital payment apps and has been for a while. The main difference for digital RMB is, from a policy perspective, Central Bank believes that through the use of a digital currency, we'll have better data on how money is being spent in the economy and therefore can more accurately target policy. The digital RMB has implications outside of China. About six global central banks have now experimented or entered into some research phase about a digital currency. Therefore, China will be an interesting test case for these other central banks. Federal Reserve in the United States has also considered creating a federal payment system or even a digital currency. And China will most likely be used as a prime example of how such a system would work and whether or not extending central bank reserves to the consumer is feasible or worth it. Thank you, Henry, and welcome back. Three core features of ECNY that we believe make this a massive market opportunity for international visitors are, first, it allows people without bank accounts to participate in China's digital economy. Second, it does not require internet access, and it will be easily accessible to international visitors. People who live in China's rural and lower tier cities often lack access to a banking system and have inadequate or non-existent internet connections. By helping resolve these two roadblocks, ECNY presents a massive user growth opportunity for China's e-commerce platforms. To put this opportunity into perspective, 
around 30% of China's population still lacks access to the internet. This represents over 400 million people, which is more than the entire population of the United States. Finally, many foreigners who visit China find their international bank cards may not be as widely accepted as they are elsewhere in the world. This is especially true when connecting international bank cards to the apps in China that powers its digital economy. By eventually opening up easy and wide to foreigners, China's e-commerce platforms can expand their audience to international visitors and beyond. Many people are really curious about the relationship between digital RMB and third-party payment processors. According to Mu Changchun, who is the director of Central Bank Digital Currency Research Institute, Alipay and WeChat Pay work just like wallet, while the digital RMB is the actual currency. So they're not operating in the same dimension. And for users like us, digital RMB is another way to reduce the use of cash. Rather than competitors, they are more like partners, since Alipay has already incorporated this new feature into its application. And in most shopping scenarios, we are still choosing WeChat and Alipay, and this too accounts for 90% of the online mobile transaction value in total. So this is really unlikely to change very soon, and by adding the new digital RMB feature, it can actually help to increase their user base. This is Xia Bing, and please let me know what you want to see next time. Also, remember to subscribe to channelastnight.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.